It is our failure to become our perceived ideal that ultimately defines us and makes us unique. It's not easy, but if you accept your misfortune and handle it right, your perceived failure can become a catalyst for profound reinvention. Remember this, there is no such thing as failure. Failure is just life trying to move us in another direction. Raise the rest of your life to meet you. Don't search for defining moments because they will never come. Turn towards the problems that you see and engage with them. Walk right up to them, look them in the eye, and then look yourself in the eye and decide what you're going to do about them. The knowledge that you have emerged wiser and stronger from setbacks means that you are, ever after, secure in your ability to survive. The core of how things are created in the universe is through collision. Mm -hmm. You know, so you got to be prepared to collide if you want to create something. Mm -hmm. It's okay, be nervous. Say you're nervous. Say it. And it's usually relieving to everyone around you. In life, we so want to feel comfortable, but that doesn't always bring the best results. Failure is a massive part of being able to be successful. You have to get comfortable with failure. Yet you have to actually seek failure. Failure is where all of the lessons are. You are already here. That's such an enormous step all its own. You'll find your rhythm or continue the one you have already found. You only learn really in this world from the mistakes you make, from hard times, from going through difficult periods. That's when you grow. And we should look at these moments as, as as opportunities for growth and as almost blessings because if everything went smoothly all the time we'd be very complacent and we'd stay in one place. If you must stand tall, raise your heads high and feel proud. Successful people fail a lot. They fail a whole lot more than they succeed but they extract the lessons from the failure and they use that energy and they use the wisdom to come around to the next phase of success. Stay in process, head down in process, stay in the bubble, and when it's over, be that fulfillment, well that's enough. You've got to take a shot, you have to live at the edge of your capabilities, you got to live where you're almost certain you're going to fail. That's the reason for practice. Practice is controlled failure. You're getting to your limit, getting to your limit, getting to your limit. You can't lift that. You can't do that. You Until you get to the point that all of a sudden your body makes the adjustment and then you can do it. Failure uh, actually helps you to recognize the areas where you need to evolve. So fail early, fail often, Fail forward. Sometimes life's going to hit you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. Life is difficult and complicated and beyond anyone's total control. And the humility to know that will enable you to survive its vicissitudes. There are few things more liberating in this life than having your worst fear realized. As much as you want people to agree and you want the people around you to be supporting your dreams and all, it's not going to be like that all the time. You got to do it alone. And people will help you and when you, when you get the ball rolling, people will jump on. But if you don't believe, nobody else is going to believe you. Today is the beginning of the rest of your life and it can be, it's going to be very frightening. It's a new world out there. It's a mean world out there. You only live once. So do what you feel passionate about. Don't wait until they tell you you are ready. Get in there. You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in something. Your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. Because believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart even when it leads you off the well-worn path. Take pride in your position and embrace the challenge. It's a lonely, scary, 
dangerous pursuit and you got to be willing to risk everything to become that seed of what you believe you be is in there you got to be fearless you got to be relentless hard work works working really hard is what successful people do stay focused in your tunnel vision and embrace the unique position that you're in if you can think of it, you can do it. That's the human condition. If we can imagine it, we can do it.